Um, but to kick things off, I wanted to show you an example of a storefront I created for one of my clients, Future Biotics, displayed here on the right. I'm well immersed in this type of work day in and day out. So what's a digital storefront? It's your website or your landing page on an online marketplace. It's the online representation of your business. It might be your, your brand's first impression or a place visited often by customers to see new products or promotions. Most importantly though, this is where purchase decisions are made. 60% of customers will leave your site if they can't find what it is they're looking for. It's your job to guide the customer to their product of interest. Let's break it down into its components. So number one here is pointing to branding, including your logo, colors, fonts, and even themes and imagery. Branding should be consistent. Number two points to navigations, including menu bars, slideshows, and product category grids. There's many ways to navigate a customer, and we'll dig into that in a little bit. Number three points to the brand story, which is used to highlight your credibility, and it boosts buyer confidence. Brand consistency creates brand recognition, and it's crucial to boosting your brand's awareness. Branding should be used to evoke positive emotions relating to your product category, and creating a dependable customer experience will build trust with your customers. Branding is used here in lifestyle images to set the overall tone. There's multiple uses of the logo, and there's links to social media brand pages. Now, navigation is used to provide multiple routes to purchase for your customers. For example, give returning customers one click to best sellers or provide browsing options for new customers. In this example, you can see just how many places navigation is used throughout this landing page. We have it in the main menu. We have links to top selling categories. We have links to best selling products. And finally, links to more important information like legal pages, frequently asked questions. Now that your branding has hinted at your brand's culture and made you appear professional and dependable, it's time to fill in the details. It has been said that purchasing is more an emotional decision than a practical one, and you need to communicate your alignment with your target customer. Here, we've spoken to how we see the product category, how we see the customer, as well as a brand story in both video and written format. Now let's check out the store function components. Number four points to search options and five to easy access to the shopping cart. So we have our search and we have our shopping cart. Six points to support like contact, chat, and downloads. Customers closer to the purchase stage of the buying cycle prefer to search for a product instead of looking through categories to find it organically. Boost, boost search optimization with a faceted navigation to choose specific attributes and filters like lists low price to high price to sort the search results quickly and easily. Now, and most importantly, the cart. This houses the items a shopper is looking to buy and it should include key information like size, color, quantity, price, and more. You can see in this sample, they offered a live view which flies out from the side and this updates as you shop and add. Um, and then we have uh, crucial ordering information like shipping and additional information like offers. And this is in the actual shopping cart page. Now having multiple customer service touch points throughout your storefront will guide a shopper to checkout. Support customers before and after purchases with solutions, guides, how to's and updates. In this sample, you can see, you can search for a help topic, review resources already created for help topics, and there are multiple contact options and downloads. Sono has actually included an email CEO option, which is above and beyond when it comes to contact. Finally, in the storefront anatomy, we have the category page, number seven here, and product display pages, number eight. Category pages help someone browse all of the products you're offering within a category. This is a great for the shopper who has an idea of what they need, but have not yet made a decision on a particular style or model. Product display pages are, met, are the meat and potatoes of your product content. When a customer lands on this page, they're interested in learning all about that particular product and are that much closer to making a purchase. In this sample, we can see this category page has all the products in the category and an overview. In the product display page, it answers all questions someone may have prior to purchase. 
It includes an image gallery, feature and benefit bullets, a product description that includes ingredients and instructions. We have enhanced marketing copy to build out the product story and crucial information like title, price, shipping, and the buy button. All right, so what have we learned so far? Your digital storefront is the online representation of your business. 60% of customers will leave the site if they can't find the product they're looking for, so it's your job to guide them. And there are many components to think about when building a storefront, from its navigation to the shopping cart function to its product display pages.